Hello, everybody. Welcome to Yoga for Self Love with Kim. I'm Kim. This will be a short, gentle practice. We'll bring in some side body opening, moving into some variations of triangle pose, and we'll also bring in a little rotation through the spine as we bring in revolved triangle or revolved triangle modifications. So grab your yoga blocks. Come and join me on the mat and come into whatever position feels comfortable for you to begin your practice. You can start on your back in Shavasana if you like or find a comfortable seat. Take a moment to get situated. Make any adjustments that you need to make. comfortable, close your eyes, allow yourself to settle in and begin to relax. If you are lying on your back, let all of the points of your body that are coming into contact with the mat get heavy. Feel your back body rooting down towards the earth and at the same time feel the earth rising up to meet you, holding you and supporting you. And if you're in a seated position, right down through the sitting bones, pubic bone, the feet, the legs, find some length up through the spine, up through the side body, up and out through the crown of your head. Begin to check in, assess, get curious, ask yourself how you are feeling today. And let go of judgment, honor where you are today, whatever your body has to offer you today. Every day is different. Relax any thoughts, any emotions that you're dealing with any physical sensations in your body. What is your energy? How does your energy feel? I invite you to bring in the intention to be gentle, kind, patient, loving, and compassionate with yourself as you move through the practice today. You carry this intention off of the mat and out into the world with you. And take a deep breath in through your nose and then sigh it out of your mouth. Make an audible sigh. Another deep breath in through your nose and then sigh it out of your mouth. <sighs> One more cleansing breath like that in through the nose and out through the mouth. Now continue to breathe in and out through your nose. Nice, deep, steady, smooth breaths. And begin to call yourself back. Allow movement into your body. Wiggle fingers, wiggle toes. You can flutter the eyes open, find a soft, steady gaze. Or if you prefer, you can keep the eyes closed for a little bit longer. If you are on your back in Shavasana, you can stay on your back. And if you are in a seated position, slowly, gently find your way down onto your back. Now take your feet wide. Reach your arms wide and up along the ears as if you could bring your body into the shape of a giant X. So 
legs are wide, arms are wide, reach out through your fingers, reach out through your toes. And take up some space here. And then bring your legs together. Reach the arms up overhead, reach out through your fingers and down through your toes, finding some length through the body. And then let everything relax. We'll take it into a reclining half moon. You can begin to lift up your head, shoulders, torso and wiggle yourself over to the right side. Bring the arms with you. And have the arms extended up along the ears or if you like you could bend the elbows and clasp a hold of the forearms and then walk your feet over to the right you could if you like cross one ankle over the other you can try both to see which which one feels better in your body and let that light right side body relax and allow that left side body to gently open. A few deep breaths here. And then slowly bring yourself back to center. Wiggle head, shoulders, torso back. Uncross the ankles if they're crossed. Bring it all back into center. We'll take it over to the other side. Now you lift up head, shoulders, torso, or just wiggle yourself over to the left side, arms up along the ears, or again, you bend the elbows, grab hold of the forearms, walk your feet over to the left, and maybe you cross one ankle over the other. So your shoulders and your bum, your sacrum are all down on the mat. And you're finding this opening through the right side body now. And then slowly bring yourself back into center. Again, let's find that giant X shape. Arms reach wide, legs reach wide. And we'll take it into a triangle on the floor. Trikonasana on the floor. Turn your right toes over towards the right. Keep the left toes pointing up towards the ceiling. Again, begin to wiggle, scooch your upper body over towards the right. Bring that right hand, right fingertips down towards that right leg, the thigh or the shin. And then reach that left arm up over the ear. So we're finding this triangle shape, but on the floor. So we're not working against gravity here. And then slowly wiggle the upper body back into center. Turn the right toes up towards the ceiling. We'll take it over to the other side. So now turn the left toes over towards the left. Begin to wiggle the upper body, head, shoulders, torso over to the left. Left hand reaches down towards that left thigh or shin. And you reach that right arm up and over the ear. Reach down through the feet. up through that right hand and then wiggle yourself back into center turn the toes up towards the ceiling again arms reach up legs wide finding this x shape and now we'll begin to turn the toes the right foot left foot over towards the right side as you do that begin to roll up onto the outer edge of that right hip Reach that left arm up and over towards the right side of your mat. So now we're coming into a version of revolved triangle, but we're on the floor. You can come up onto the left finger pads if you like. Keep that palm lifted, or you could bring the hand down to the floor. And you could have your head resting on the right bicep or on the floor. And then we'll slowly roll back over onto our back. Find this X shape, arms wide, 
and then we roll it over to the other side. Now toes turn over to the left, both feet. You're gonna roll up onto that left hip and reach that right arm up. Maybe come up onto those right finger pads. Bring yourself back to center. Extend the arms up overhead, bring the legs together. So arms are together, legs are together. And then we'll bend the right knee, draw that right knee into the chest, hug it in. And then slowly begin to take this into a reclining twist. So we'll take the left hand to the right knee, slowly begin to draw the right knee over towards the left side. You can open the right arm out to the right side, or you could bend that right elbow, cactus the arm, or just extend that right arm up along that right ear. You can keep your gaze up towards the ceiling, or if it feels okay, shift your gaze over towards the right. And then slowly bring yourself back to center, hug that right knee in, and then release that leg down to the mat. Now we'll bend the left knee, draw it in towards the chest, hug it in. And now take right hand to the left knee, slowly begin to roll yourself over towards the right, draw that left knee over towards the right, whole pelvis comes with you. And then you maybe reach that left arm out to the left, relax that left shoulder down towards the mat, could again bend that left elbow, find that cactus arm or goal post arm position, or even reach that left arm up along the ear. And you shift your gaze up towards the ceiling or over towards the left. And then slowly bring yourself back to center, hug that left knee in, and now draw both knees in towards your chest. We'll roll over towards the right side. So legs come over to the right, knees stacked on top of each other. Torso moves over towards the right. So you're lying on the right side here. Keep the legs where they are. Now begin to open the rib cage and open that left arm out towards the left side. So you're finding this twist through the spine but from about the rib cage area or higher. And then roll yourself back over to the left side. And then roll onto your back, knees come into the chest and then roll everything over towards the left. Left side, knees stacked on top of each other. And then we'll begin to open the rib cage to the right. Open that right arm to the right. Relax that right shoulder down to the mat. And then bring yourself all the way over to the left side again. And then roll yourself onto your back. Rock yourself side to side. And then slowly find your way up into a seated position. So whatever seat feels good, you can cross the shins, you can take the legs wide, you could sit up on the knees, or you could extend the legs out in front of you. And you could also sit up on something if you like here. Just be here for a moment. Take the right fingers underneath that right shoulder, reach that left arm up along the ear, lengthen up through the side body, reach up through the crown of the head, slowly fold yourself over to the right. Bring yourself up to center, take it to the other side, left fingers down to the mat underneath that left shoulder, right arm reaches up along the ear, root down through your foundation, sit up nice and tall, and then slowly fold yourself over to the left. And then back up to center. Now let's bring palms together at the heart. Take a deep breath in, and as you exhale, little baby twist, 
over to the right, spinning the heart, the sternum, the gaze to the right, and then bring yourself back to center on inhalation. As you exhale, we'll twist it over to the left. Inhale brings you back to center. As you exhale, again, little baby twist over to the right. Inhale it back to center. And one more time, exhale, little baby twist over to the left. Bring your palms back to center. And now let's find our way onto the hands and knees. Finding your table pose, root down through your fingers, tuck your toes under, press down and out through the hands as you glide the hips up and back. Start with a nice bend in the knees here. Find a little bit of movement, walking it out, pedaling out the legs, bending and straightening the knees, rocking back and forth or side to side. And then slowly find your way up to the top of your mat. Fold yourself in, forward fold, belly to the thighs, let your head drop down, shake, nod your head. Take your fingers to the mat, or you could grab your elbows and sway your hips if you like from side to side, even swing the arms. And then bring yourself to center hands to your hips, press into your feet and come all the way up to standing. Now turn to face long edge of your mat, step your feet out wide, reach the arms wide, reaching up through the fingers, down through the feet. So again, we're finding this X shape with our body. And then release the arms down Soften the knees, turn the right toes up towards the top of the mat. Begin to bend the right knee a little bit. Take your right fingers to that right thigh or the right hip crease. And then begin to straighten the right leg. And as you do, fold yourself over to the right, keeping the sides of the body nice and long, both sides. And then right fingers can come down to that right thigh or that right shin. Reach that left arm up towards the ceiling. Triangle pose. And then let's take the left hand back to the hip. Soften that right knee, press into the right foot, lift yourself back up to center, turn the right toes in. Arms reach back up, finding that giant X shape. And then hands back to the hips, soften the knees. We'll turn the left toes to the other end of the mat. Bend that left knee a little bit and then take the left fingers to that left thigh. Begin to straighten that left leg as you do. Pull the hips back, fold from that left hip crease, both sides of the body long, left hand to the thigh or to the shin. Right hand can stay on the hip or you reach that arm up. And then right hand comes back down to that right hip, soften that left knee, press into that left foot and lift yourself back up. Turn the left toes in, arms back up into that X shape. And let's do it one more time to each side. Soften the knees, turn the right toes back up towards the top of the mat. Bend that right knee, right fingers to that right thigh. Begin to straighten the right leg as you fold the body over to the right. Again, both sides of the body, nice and long, nice long spine. Fingers to the right shin, right thigh, left arm reaches up. Or if you like, reach that left arm up and over that left ear. And then left hand comes back to the hip. Soften the right knee, press into that right foot, lift yourself back up to center, turn the right toes back in, arms wide. And then release the arms down, soften the knees, left toes turn to the other end of the mat, bend that left knee, begin to pull that left hip back as you straighten that left leg and fold your body over towards that left side. Left fingers to thigh to shin, right arm reaching up, 
or maybe alongside that right ear. And then right hand comes back to the hip, soften that left knee, press into the left foot, bring it back up. Turn that left foot in, arms reach wide. And then release the arms down, step or hop your feet together, grab your two blocks. We'll take it into our revolved triangle modification. Bring your two blocks up top of your mat, up on the tall height. And now we'll step the right foot back a couple of feet. So a short stance, not as long as a warrior stance. Take your hands to your hips. Begin to fold from the hip creases and bring the torso forward. You could have a bend in the front knee, big or little bend, hinging from the hips, and then you bring your hands to rest on the top of the blocks. And now bend the left knee if it's not already bent and begin to bring that left leg a little bit straighter. It doesn't have to be all the way straight, but a little bit straighter. Bend the left knee, straighten the leg a little bit more. A couple more times, just bending, straightening this left leg. And then you straighten that leg. But again, if you need it, a little bend in that knee or big bend. And then begin to fold your torso down over that left leg. Hands pressing into the top of the blocks and let the head go. Keep the left hip hugging back and the right hip hugging forward. So the hips are squaring up towards the top of your mat. And then press into that left foot. Again, bring a bend into the knee. Lift yourself up. Hands come back to the hips. Now let's switch it to the other side. Step the right foot forward and step that left foot back. Couple of feet, hips facing up towards the top of the mat. Bigger little bend in that front knee as you begin to fold yourself forward. Again, hinging from your hips, so we're not folding from the back, folding from the hips. Hands to the top of your blocks, and then we'll bend the right knee. Make the leg a little bit straighter. Bend the knee, straighten the leg. Once or twice more, bend and straighten. And then begin to fold yourself in over that right leg. Right hip pulls back. Soften that right knee, press into your feet and lift yourself all the way up. Now let's switch the feet again. Left foot will step forward, right foot steps back couple of feet, hips facing up towards the top of your mat, soft little bend in that front knee, begin to fold yourself forward, hands reach for top of the blocks, and fold it over that left leg. Now let's take the block that your right hand is on. Bring that block over towards that left foot. So maybe right inside the left foot. You could even put it in front of the left foot. Or if it works for you, you could take your right hand over to the block that the left hand is currently on. Now we'll take the left thumb, stick it into that left hip crease. Pull that left hip crease back. And as you do, begin to spin your heart over to the left. So pelvis is neutral here. We're not twisting from the low back. We're twisting from higher up the spine, right around the rib cage area, sternum area. You can keep that left hand resting on the low back. You could begin to bend that left elbow, reach it up towards the ceiling. If it's available, maybe you open that left arm up. But don't force anything, just allow. We'll take the left hand back down to the block. Right block comes back over to where it started. Let's take hands back to the hips, soften that left knee, and then press into the feet, lift yourself back up. 
Step the right foot up. And now we'll step that left foot back. Squaring the hips off, top of the mat. Soften the right knee, begin to hinge it forward. Hands come to the top of your blocks. Fold in over that right leg. And now we'll bring that left hand on that left block over towards the right foot. Inside the foot, in front of the foot. Or again, if it is available to you, you could bring that left hand over to the block that's on the right side. Left hand to that block, right thumb now comes in right into that right hip crease. Stick that thumb in there, begin to pull that right hip back, and as you do, begin to rotate the heart over to the right. Right hand can stay where it is. You could bring the hand to the low back, peel that right shoulder back, spin the heart, spin the sternum, maybe you shift the gaze to the right or up. Maybe you bend that right elbow, reach it up towards the ceiling, or maybe even unfurl the arm. And then the right hand comes back down to the block. Left block moves back over to where it came from. Soften that right knee, press into your feet, and lift yourself all the way up. And then step that left foot up. Move the blocks out of the way. Let's take the arms out to the sides and up, palms together overhead. Soften your knees, fold yourself in, forward fold, and then we'll bend the knees a lot. Plant your hands down on the mat, step yourself back into your downward dog. Lower your knees down to the mat. Come back to sit on your heels. And if that feels okay for you in your Vajrasana pose, sitting on your heels, you can stay there. Otherwise, bring yourself into another comfortable seated position. Bring one hand to heart, one hand to belly. Close your eyes. Connect back in. How do you feel? And come back to our intention to be gentle, kind, patient, loving, compassionate with ourselves. Thank yourself for taking this time just for you today. Cross the arms over your chest. You can drop the chin down a little bit. Give yourself a little hug, some love. And then switch the cross of the arms, other arm on top. Give yourself a hug. You are awesome. And palms together at the heart. May you feel safe. May you be healthy. May you be happy. May you live with ease. May your heart be open to love, compassion, and may you know joy. Thank you so much for sharing your practice with me today with love and gratitude. Namaste.